if you're looking to make your React applications faster, it's very important to understand this one JavaScript principle that on the browser, it runs on a single thread. Now, today I have a mini crash course on how web workers work and how you can use them to make your React applications run butter smooth. Let's get into it. So one thing that you have to understand, like I said before, is that JavaScript runs on a single thread. This means if your code is doing something heavy, like parsing through like a CSV file, the UI will freeze until that operation is done. What web workers do is it allows you to run a separate thread so that your UI continues to work and things stay smooth. So what is a thread? You can think of a thread like a lane on a highway. It's like, you know, one car at a time, you know, one car has to pass and another car follows it. You can have five cars running on top of each other. Now your CPU, it has many threads, right? And JavaScript in comparison to your CPU only has one thread by default. So you can think of a thread as a path for executing code. When you ever, if you've ever heard the phrase multi-threading, it means multiple things are being executed or happening at the same time. And single threaded means only one thing runs at one time. So now that you understand what a thread is, let's talk about it more pertaining to JavaScript. So JavaScript on the browser is single threaded and this single thread handles rendering the UI, user input, and running any JavaScript logic. So if you do something that's like, if you do a heavy task, or for example, a for loop that essentially never ends, nothing else runs. The UI will essentially freeze and your site becomes unusable. Have you ever used a website where you upload a file or it's doing something and for that very moment, it's essentially unusable? That's because the JavaScript thread, the single thread is already being used doing this heavy computation. And until that's done, you can't really do anything else. Nothing else runs, even UI updates. And this is what makes buggy, slow, laggy sites. And as web developers, we cannot allow for the browser to become unresponsive and even break and our site just have terrible user experience. And this is where web workers come to play. Web workers essentially give you another thread. And like the best way I can think of a web worker is like, say you have all these tasks that you have to do. And let's say there's one particular task that you give to someone else, like an assistant. And that assistant goes to do that task, takes care of it and brings you back the result. That's essentially what a web worker is. You're essentially telling the browser, hey browser, I want this part of my app to run somewhere else. Let me know when you're done. Do what you have to do and then just give me the result. And looking at this analogy I have here, uh, a web worker is like a remote assistant that you email tasks to, right? You, you, you tell them the tasks that you need done, you give them the instructions, they work independently, and they email back the result to you. And because JavaScript runs on a single thread, it can only do one thing at a time. A web worker gives us an extra thread for some other computation to happen, and then for us to just receive the result, allowing for the single thread that JavaScript has to work flawlessly. Now that you understand all that, Let's look at some code. So here I have a simple React V app to demonstrate to you how web workers work. I have some state where I'll store the worker result. I have a use effect that calls the worker called hello worker. The worker is going to post a message called start heavy work. So this message, this is the instruction I'll be sending to the worker. And then on 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 message, I will receive the result from the web worker and then I can store it in the state and then I'll have to terminate the worker. So in to, to understand this simply, I email my assistant the work I need done. The assistant finishes the work. I store the result in my on my desk and then the worker gets to leave home. Right. So that's this simple setup. Now, if we go to hello worker .ts, this is how simple it is to set up a worker. I do self dot on message and then I log um, the message I get from the main thread, right? And I can get that from the event dot data. And then I start, I'm basically running a timer and then I'm basically running this while loop until this turns false. And then it posts a message post message basically fires the on message here, right? So you can imagine some heavy computation running here. This I will run in this use effect as well, just to show you how, like, you know, if you were running heavy computation in the use effect, it would break the app. So let me just show you this quickly. If I go to localhost uh, 5713, you're going to see that my site is basically broken. I, I can't right click, I can't do anything and it's, it's broken. So let me close this, right? And then let me comment this out and let's go back to localhost 5173. You could see that I actually have a timer running. And if I go in my console log, you could see heavy work is being done. So this heavy computation is happening right now. 
you know, Lord knows how long this is going to take. What's cool is you can see that this timer is still working, even though if you see right here, some crazy amount of computation is happening right now, AKA the while loop. And this is why if you're ever like parsing through some CSV or doing some heavy work that's going to block the browser, I highly encourage you use web workers. Now I asked Chad GBT, when's the best time to use web workers? Anytime you have some heavy computation that might take greater than 50 milliseconds, like parsing large JSON CSV, crunching numbers, image video processing, and model inference, uh, any data, uh, data transformation, like sorting, filtering 10,000 plus records, analytics, background tasks, any polling, real-time feedback without lag, and then it tells you when not to use web, web workers. When the task is quick, UI related, you need access to the DOM, you're just waiting for an API. That's IO, not CPU bound. So rule of thumb, if it's CPU heavy, causes UI jank, use a web worker. If it's async but not blocking, example of fetch, use async await. And ladies and gents, that's how you make your React applications faster with web workers. I hope that made sense. I hope that was clear. Let me know if you enjoy these style of videos. I love making these style of videos. So let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.